Hi there, and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology review for the not-so-geeky. My name is Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And uh, today we have a very, very cool product that we actually first got a glimpse of, uh, what, last month or two months yep. ago in, uh, at CES in Las Vegas. Yeah. This is, you know, I was going to say it's HP's answer to the iMac. Um, but it's really not, I mean, in one sense it's like an iMac in that this is an all-in-one computer. Uh, but it also does a lot of different things that the iMac doesn't do. Well, it's um, it's got a uh, a pretty small footprint. I yeah. mean, really small, actually. But not you as know. small as the iMac. This thing is. I mean, really, so, it's it's this. It's about this wide. Yeah. In fact, in the back. Let me turn this for you so you can see. This is the HP Touch Smart PC. It's brand new. Yeah. Spanking new. And if you look at it this way, there you can there you see the, the whole thing. Right. And you'll notice that there's just one, we only have one cord hooked up to this. I mean, there's no keyboard, mouse, there's no network cord, there's no video cable. One cable, that's it. Everything else is, everything else is wireless. Right. So it has a built-in screen here. And while I've got it turned sideways here, I can show you how you can adjust this. So this is like down position, but this will also slide up and tilt. So mm -hmm. depending on what angle you want to look at, uh, you know, you can, you can have it at it doesn't. It's not as pretty as the iMac, that's for sure. You know? Is anything as pretty as the they, iMac? Especially I, that know, one you have. Just, Apple just makes. The they make very beautiful Look, products. Kind of blue face. You know they do, but but this is touch screen. You know, I mean, like right. I'm looking for the beautiful, sleek iMac style with a touch screen screen. Well, so let's talk about some of the differences. If, if you're looking, if you're a PC user who's kind of been jealous of the iMac as I have, because I got to tell you, it's a, it's a very, pretty machine. It's a beautiful looking mm -hmm. machine, sharp. Um, yeah. This machine has a lot of similarities but differences. About seventeen hundred bucks for this guy, and uh, as you can it's see, about the same price as the iMac. Yeah, it's bit uh, it's a bit uh, bigger. Well, no, the iMac you can get cheaper. Two thousand. Uh, Two thousand for yours with a twenty four inch screen. Oh, this doesn't have a twenty four inch. Screen. This is a nineteen inch, I believe, screen in here. Um, in here on the side, I don't know if you guys can see. There's a little door here, and you can actually. I don't know if I can open it without looking at it. There's a little. Mm -hmm. Door. There it is. I got it. And you can actually put in uh, HP Cell's hard drives that you can put in there, like another 100 gig hard drive. Wow. So you can buy like two or three different 100 gig hard drives and just put them in and take it back and forth to work. You know, it's, it's designed to That's be... That's nice. Yeah. Right. It's designed to be easily removed. You've got on the side here, you've got some media controls. Uh, down here, let me see, uh, you've got nothing. I'm going to keep turning it around here so you can see. <laughs> Down here you have nothing. Nah. <laughs> so here we have the back and uh, you've got all your usual connections here including TV connections. So one difference between this and the iMac, although you can get a TV tuner for the iMac, this has a TV tuner built in. So you, so you get it home, you plug it into your cable, boom, you can watch it at TV. Are you sure that um, iMac, the airport feature is the built-in, is the built-in. I mean you have to buy the little external Router, right? That routes to your TV? Is that what you're talking about? That it's goes to your TV. I'm talking oh. about coming from cable. Oh, okay. Watching TV on here. So. Oh, yeah. so your direct TV or whatever can plug yeah. right into that. Now, let me uh, keep moving it around a bit because it's kind of, kind of heavy. It's not it's, that it's not, it, well, it's, it's not, not so heavy. It's just that it sticks. And it's solid. I mean, yeah, I've got to tell solid. you, this is not a device you want to be traveling with a lot. No, so no, that's for sure. Before we get to the beautiful screen, which is really the heart of the unit here, I'm just going to lift this up a little bit and show you. On the front here is your CD-ROM drive, which is a slot-loading guy. Uh, slots for your memory cards, and right here, you flip that down, and you can hook up to your your speakers. You've got audio input and mm -hmm. output, S video input output, and a couple of more. Um, so it's like, it's like a built a built in sort of. It's like it's a TV. Like, it's really designed it's to be an like, entertainment center. Yeah, yeah. Right now, the cool thing is, you notice that's that we don't so have cool. a keyboard or a mouse here, and that's because, uh, and this is probably the neatest feature of the thing. It's, it's right. a touch screen. If I go on here, uh, you'll notice that I can actually draw with my finger. For instance, let's say I want to grab this clock, I can just grab it, move it out here, you know, I'll take this calendar, and, uh, and whoop, can I not move the calendar? I can't move the calendar. You say these were a big hit at the CES. These Didn't were, you think? Yeah. yeah. There we go. There's a lot of I people. So you can take these things, move them around with your finger, see that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh. Move this clock around, you know, hit the start menu, and there it is. This is Windows Vista, by the way, that we're running here. Um, and if I close this here, it comes with a program called uh, HP Smart Center, which I will open here, and it will uh, it'll open. And this uses Windows Media Center, and it's like an extension for Windows Media Center. Here it is coming up. Uh, that allows you to do a bunch of really cool things. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a prototype, and the software is a little buggy. I've had it crash on me a couple of times. Hoping they'll fix that before, before then. 
So here we are, this is the HP Smart Center, and you can go in there and look through your photos. Uh, you can touch in here and, and take a look at the weather. Or, for instance, I'm going to click here on the calendar, and we will open up the calendar page. So here we go. It takes, again, this takes a second here. This okay. is an AMD processor. It's got two gigs of RAM. And here is, for instance, a calendar page with a bunch of notes. I can type in, uh, let's see, a write a note. So what do you type? Well, oh. you don't. You can write right on the screen. So you can use your finger, or you can do... Uh, in fact, I'm going to let you do this because you have better handwriting than I do. Are you sure? Yeah. Why don't you? you see it's like this, people, everyone this, this types pen. these. Everyone types nowadays, so it's hard to, you know. Why, why it's like, you, what uh, happened to old-fashioned handwriting? Yeah. Why don't you write a note on the screen there? Let me try to do it. So Sideways you, note. Right on the on this white bit here. Just write like uh, dinner tonight at five o'clock or something. Oh, look. There's my hand. Oops. Oh, see, that's one thing you can't do is touch the screen with your hand. Dinner. Night. See, I bet you. <laughs> That actually works pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. You smiley face. Can I do a heart? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> there. Perfect. Like it. Wonderful. So it's a nice easy way. Now, let's say you do want to use a keyboard or you do want to use a mouse. It does come with a mouse. Here's a mouse. And the, the keyboard color. stores right under here. So oh, take a look. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! And again, it is wireless. No wires. So when you want to get in there to use the keyboard, right. you can. That is great. So it's definitely not Very as nice. pretty as your iMac, but... Right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a really bad glare there. There we go. Not as pretty as your iMac uh, at all, uh, but it runs Vista, the new OS, and it is all in one and uh, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that stays down all the way. There it is. Yeah. Pretty nice little machine. What do you think? You know what? It's very revolutionary. Don't you think? I mean, it's a combination of design between the old and the new. I right. mean, it's got the new operating system. It has the touch. I mean, t touch screen is so easy. I mean, your, your toddler could it's do great. it. It's great. With the Windows Media Center, we had all our, our tunes and our, our stuff in there. Right. And you could just literally click on what tune you wanted and hit shuffle and it plays. And yeah. Media Center is designed with you know, fairly big buttons anyway, right? Because right. you're supposed to be sitting kind of far away. Right. So, you know, it's pretty neat. It, again, nice. like the iMac, it's not as expandable. You can't get in there and change the video card and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, you know. Um, one more thing that's really cool that I forgot to mention. If I lift this screen up here, uh, you can actually, HP makes a printer that sits right here. Mm -hmm. And there's right. a slot, see where my hand blip, 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 comes through there? That's where the paper comes out. So you can yeah, sit a printer right. on here on the right. back, and when you print, the paper comes right out. So you have everything all in one with this computer. Yeah. Wave of the future, you know? It's just going to be a matter... You know, and these computers like this are being installed into cars nowadays, too. Did you know that? Well, yeah. Wow. The touch, like touch screen computers? Touch screen, yeah. full computers. You yeah, know, so you can have your internet in the car. integration a lot easier. So uh, you can integrate right into the Windows Media Center operating system. It is just amazing. And, and you can sort of see where the future of... T you know, watching this technology, you can see where the future of TV is going. Right. You know, uh, we're going... I mean, look at us podcasters. Totally, you know? yeah. So... Great. So I don't know, is this, you know, it's definitely not as elegant as your iMac at, at Well, all. no, I mean, but my iMac doesn't have a printer that sits in the back either. No, it's not going to have the, I mean, the keyboard's standalone. I can't tuck it in. If, I mean, this is where you can actually put it on your kitchen counter if you want to. Tuck That's it in really the back. That's really what it's designed for. This is, I think, and designed for kitchen or rumpus room. Well, for, for parents with kids, too, teens especially, you know how, how important it is to watch your teens on the Internet these days. Right. So, I mean, that's great for that. You, you know, if you want to use a computer, there it is. Right. But you're doing it right in the center of the family room. So, yeah. so you no know, naughtiness to, going on. The <laughs> software was a little buggy and a little slow. This is Windows Vista, right? Is that yeah. why? Well, no, I think it's all the touchscreen stuff and, and oh. is, is what makes it a little buggy. Uh, oh, okay. It's also a prototype, though. So okay. this isn't on sale for another few weeks. In fact, by the time you see this, it might it might be on sale, but it will have just gone on sale. Uh, so I'm hoping. And they make a will... laptop. They make a laptop, touchscreen laptop. They do make a, ta a tablet, so, laptop that will hopefully will. Rev yeah, get a review chance too. To review. That was at that um, same CES. Thing yeah, right? I fell in love with that. The, it's uh, just TX portable 1, and and easy to use. Right. And this makes it, you know I think this too it makes it not so scary for people who are not necessarily in the computer world to use it. I mean, it's as easy as touching the screen. That's right. You know? And to be honest, the all-in-one design is really nice. You Very nice. I think that if I was mm -hmm. going to buy like a machine for my grandparents, right. it would either be an iMac or something like this. That Again, yeah. one cable. If they want to move it, you only have to unplug one cable yeah. and just take the whole thing and move it somewhere else. Good so job in design, guys. Yeah. Good job. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to give it a, a rating yet because it's the prototype. Uh, I like it, but I'm hoping they fix some of those bugs.
Okay. Well, I, I love it. I love it. And I haven't, uh, I, I didn't run into any bugs, but I didn't use it as much as you did either. So, right. so that's me. So, so that is the HP TouchSmart PC that'll be available, if not now, then shortly. And uh, uh, pretty innovative, neat, mm -hmm. cool design. Very nice. Very nice. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded. Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com. And welcome back to Neophyte.tv. In the second spotlight section today, we're actually going to be taking a look at something that is a big problem for me. Okay. Maybe not as much of a problem for you, I don't know, but it's a big problem for me. And uh, it really, you can sum up the whole problem in two words. Sperm count. Oh my gosh. I... But then, no, no, no. This this is don't, a, is this like a family show? Be serious. <laughs> this is a serious problem amongst people who use laptops I, on their lap. I, I did read about that, I have to say. Yeah. Now, you know, my wife and I were considering having a third, and, you know, one thing she tells me is, you know, don't put that laptop on your lap, because laptops get warm, and <laughs> apparently the warm ness um, <laughs> can affect Wait, your... Wait, it uh, causes moistness, which... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you get hot and sweaty, right? So for any, they, they say the same thing about breast milk and microwaves. Yes, but you don't put your laptop on a breast. On, no, well, no, no. What I'm saying when you're when you're when you're breastfeeding don't for women, the, you're just supposed to stand near the microwave so you don't radiate your milk. Same thing. I mean, sort of. I mean, kind of. Can we start over. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Neophyte.tv. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking today at three different solutions from three uh, different companies of how to not only keep your legs cool, but if you have, uh, for instance, I do a lot of work on the couch, you know, at home, and I'll put my laptop on the couch, and <laughs> what? And it will block the uh, air vents, the There's air vents name of the for computer. <laughs> and <clears throat> so I need something, like sometimes I'll put a phone book down or, or TV tray, but that's too big. So... Let's take a look at some of the products. The, the uh, first one we're going to take a look at today, and in fact, we're going to use, for demonstration purposes, uh, <clears throat> we're going to use <clears throat> Tiffany's Ridicubig uh, hey, HP laptop. Hey, it's portable, it's got a full-size keyboard, and it's got my uh, uh, underwater fish uh, screensaver. Right, what could and you it ask also for? has, as you can see, I don't know if you can see right here, it's kind of hard to see, it's got a fan on the bottom, yes. and that pumps uh, air out the back there, mm -hmm. and so if this is going to be sitting on your lap, like so, this is going to get very, very hot, and okay. you know, and the hard drive heats up. As well as not being good for your, you know, for that, it's also not good for uh, mm -hmm. the computer to get hot. The computer shouldn't get hot. Trying so. to make sure that I'm awake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. So our first, <laughs> our first product here uh, is called the XPad. Why do you think it's called XPad, Tiff? Gee, I don't know. It looks like a little uh, part of an excerpt from an X Man suit. The X Man, yeah, you know. I think you can make Halloween. A good Halloween. I saw something like that on Halloween. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. So a couple of little kids running around with candy bags. And suits that look like that. The, there's the back. So the little mm -hmm. X logo on there. Right. And uh, so the idea is, you set this down like so, and you set your laptop on it like. What's your finger? Wow, that's that's slippery. Is there like some sort of thing on the bottom there? Oh, I see what you mean. It, 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 it's not. Yeah. So. It's, no, well, that's a problem because if you if you you wouldn't want to be using this and sort of going towards the edge don't, of the uh, don't, don't my laptop. <laughs> the edge of the tray, the edge of the table. Uh, on the other hand, is that good for presentations? Because I can be doing a presentation, I can say, take a look at these numbers, and you can say, those are cool numbers. You know, you can do that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I don't know. I think it's a good thing if you have a big table. Who wants to see me do a three sixty? You, could, on, you really? could you could sneeze and that would fall off the table, or yeah. someone could bump it on accident. Uh, you could right. lose your whole presentation and the laptop. All in one shot. I don't know. I mean... So it's kind of a... I guess as long as you know about it, it's kind of a... It could be a feature or it could be a uh, liability. I think, I, think, I think the best 
Wouldn't it be better to have like uh, one that's solid on the table with a little turn on it, a turntable? A solid on the table with a little turn on it. Well, yeah. that's very interesting. Funny, that I should, should mention that. that. Let's take a look at our second one here today. So let's what, just finish What this do one. we have, Ben? Let's finish this one. First of all, tell me what you think of the weight and size of that. I mean, if you have a laptop bag, that'll fit in your laptop bag, okay? It'll, yeah, something. it'll fit yeah. in the laptop bag. But the thing is with this that it's just, I mean, surprisingly, it's, you know, you'd think that would stick, but it doesn't. So. No. I guess maybe, you know, it'd be good if it came with a couple of little rubber bumpers or something. Yeah, but something. If you want to put on, put yeah, on. Or, something yeah. even optional, you know, little one of those little baggies with the packets in it to right. make it stick. Right. That's a just a suggestion. All right. So that is the X-Pad. Very, huh? is, is, I, I want to just m mention it is nice and light. Yes, it is so light. So it's not going to take up a lot of space. Yes, very light. Space. Our okay. next one is called the Cool Pad by a company called Road Tools. And this one is probably, of the ones we're looking at today, the most adjustable but the least lap friendly. So mm. let me move this over here for a second. This guy, uh, first of all, has these adjustable, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hold it in front of your laptop so it's easier to see. <laughs> Look at that. That works. It's got these adjustable things that you can take off, put on, take off. So if you wanna change the height, you know, you can take one of these off, mm -hmm. clip this back on, and now as you can see, you've got, you know, you've changed the height right. of that one. But I'm gonna leave it at the so full like sort of height Legos right now. Or Lincoln Logs. They do look like Legos. Yeah. Um, AKA toddler toy. <laughs> this one, uh, take a look, Tiff. Now, give it the old movement test there. Uh, it's better. Is it better? Yeah, well, it's a little bit of weight I, on it. You know, right. let's, let's, you know let's, pretend. Let's put the laptop on it. Hold okay. on. And by the way, this one, what's cool about it is it, it rotates. It's got a built in. Ah, I like that. Right. I could put my pot roast on that. <laughs> Turn it right around. It's a multi use. Look you at know. that. Let me, let me put the laptop on. Okay, okay so there it is with the laptop on. So now I'm, and it's, and it's also got the laptop at a nice little angle there. Can you see that? And I, you can rotate it. Very so nice. So I can be using it. Blah, 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 blah. And then when it's your turn to use it. Let me see. You see how it, it's not very tippy either. Yeah. Not very actually, tippy? Actually, yeah, especially so when you put your, your uh, hands. wrists. Yeah. Hands, they hands, thank hands, you. Wrists. Yes, thank you. That's, that's what these are. <laughs> uh, on, <laughs> on, on the front of it, it's, it's very solid. And yeah, so yeah, during a presentation, and it's not gonna, I mean, you're much less likely to have this slide off the table, right. that's for sure. So Tiffany, That would be embarrassing. This one you like? Yes, so I do like this. Okay. I like, this is the best so far. This is the best so far. So yes. Okay, let's, let's take a look at now at uh, number three. And this one is from a company that I hadn't heard of before, uh, and it's probably the simplest design. This is um, from a company called Itopad. Itopad? Ito. Ito. Uh, does it see with the E or it's an I? It's I-T-O-Pad. Itopad. Idopad? I would say so. Not Edopad? You know why I think of Edopad? Right. Do you remember the... Uh, Edopad? Uh, Edopad? <laughs> uh, do you remember like... the uh, Simpson trial and it was Judge Edo? Wasn't oh, that ITO? that's right. And it was right. Judge Edo, not Ido. Yeah. So I don't... Ooh, I wonder, do you think Judge Edo made this pad? You never know. Look, there it is spelled right down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. He could have totally well. got out of the judging business altogether after that last... Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was definitely... Little scenario. Yeah. yeah, let's not go there. Right. Um, and uh, <laughs> so... Uh, you know, this is interesting. It's one solid piece. It has these ridges on on the top here and on the bottom. So, it, you know, the idea is it'll it'll stay on there. Let's again put the laptop on top to the test. And what do you think? Well, slippery. Not not as much. Certainly nothing now, like the first one. Where does it fall one. on the other two that we looked at? Is it more than both, or is it in the middle of the two? Or no, I like I definitely like the middle one best. You like the middle one best mm -hmm. for that. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, it, I, I see that where you put your legs on here and stuff. Well, this you know, is the other thing I wanted to mention under. is that that second one that you like, which is great, but do you have it over there again? Oh, I do. It's, it doesn't really have a good surface area for putting on your lap. You wouldn't want it. This one is, is small enough that it's not a good lap right. one. Whereas what I like about this one, it's definitely bigger, as you can, as mm -hmm. you can see, but it has these leg indentations. Let me get this to the right angle. There you go. Leg indentations. Can you see that? And so what you can do is you can put this on your lap. It won't slide off. And now my wife will be happy because I am protected. <laughs> this is now safe computing here that I've got this, this, uh, this insulated mm -hmm. pad between the laptop and my legs. So now I'm not going to get, you know, all hot right. and sweaty <laughs> down there. And the computer has these ridges. The, mm. the pad has these, uh, is, it's, it's, Ribbed for my comfort. <laughs> um, it's gonna, it's gonna, it has these ridges to allow the air to, from that fan to flow off of there. This is really good coffee. 
<laughs> the only thing I thought was weird was this one has a bit of a smell to it. And don't say it. Don't even go there. I only just took it out of the packet. <laughs> and, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because it's like the newness. What, you ever, you, what you, you ever heard like of repackaging? You? What does that smell like to you? <laughs> you ever return anything and repackaged it? No. <laughs> I wouldn't do such a thing. It's definitely, whatever this material is, it has a, it has a smell. Wow. But it probably goes away after it's been... Aired out for a while. Aired out after mm-hmm. a while. Or but it, it has, so takes on the owner's new smell. It's, right. Either way. Right. Uh, it's ridged on this side. Mm-hmm. Bumped on this side. Um, and again, to keep this off of your legs so We much. could be describing something entirely different. You realize what that? What could we be describing, Tiffany? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what it could be, but it sounds familiar somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so we have here the X-Pad, mm-hmm. which, uh, I don't know, I liked it because it was. It's, I think it's the lightest one. It's light and small, yeah. but you thought it was slippery. It is unexceptional, no. Unexceptional. Yeah. And then we had uh, my personal favorite because of the uh, ridges and the leg. Smell pad. Yeah, it's called the Ito Pad. <laughs> and I'm assuming, is this your favorite of it's the my three? my favorite, yes. But... Definitely. Because you like the spinny thing. I like the spinny thing, yeah. You like the spinny thing and the bumpy uh, mm-hmm. risers. And Well, I like that it doesn't slide either. This is also... That's a big thing. Yeah, if you're, you're probably an airplane tray safe, this is probably the best of the three. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I def- and it, it, it's small footprint. Small footprint. So just not good for leg usage, though. No. Bad for leg, good for non So, yeah, it just depends on what you're going to use it for. If you're going to be a, a, a leg computing person uh, or a uh, desktop computing right. person, presentation computing person, you know. So if you want to use your laptop on your lap, as nature intended, as probably nature intended. To use one of these to keep them, keep it off of your off of your legs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's three good solutions: EdoPad, uh, the Road Tools Cool Pad, and the X Pad. Now you have all your options. That's right, and there's probably a dozen more out there, but these are this uh, is for this round. Hundred thousand more out there. Yeah, it's a good start, though. Or you can you know use a piece of plywood. Right. So uh, then you got to cut it. it, and it's heavier and doesn't have these grid grooves. Exactly. Right. Right. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to visit our website, www.neo-fight.tv. That's where you can go and subscribe to the show and sign up for our newsletter. and, and Gadget giveaway. Gadget giveaway, all that other stuff. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, Keep hope- those emails coming, by the way. We yes. love the feedback. Emails, comments, yeah. we love that. We, we try to read them all, and uh, we try to respond to a lot, of them as, a lot of them as well. Right. Most of the marriage proposals... She just throws away. I just want to tell you that right now. I think, I think Ben doesn't forward doesn't I keep all him. of mine. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> um, and if you have any thoughts on what you'd like to see on the show, uh, drop us an email as well and, and let us know what you'd like to or see. Or just send us the thing. You want to see yeah. a laptop review? Just send us send, the laptop. Go ahead and send it on over. Yeah, you bet. And if you happen to have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. If you're looking for a custom-built computer system created to the exact specifications you're looking for, look no further than Puget Custom Computers at www.pugetcustomcomputers.com. Puget builds computers the way you want them built. They work hard to take the hype out of computer building, to help you make good decisions, and to help save you from paying for things you don't need. It's their goal to provide you with everything you need to have a hassle-free computing experience. For your next PC, Look up www.pugetcustomcomputers.com.